new Google Firebase Studio update is insane and it's free. Today, I'm going to show you Google's new Firebase Studio update that just dropped. This thing is nuts. They added AI templates that build your apps for you. They added smart files that teach the AI how to code better. You can now upload 100 megabyte projects in seconds, and the AI can add databases and user login with just one sentence. Look, I've been building apps and websites for over a decade. I've seen tools come and go, but what Google just did with Firebase Studio, this is different. This could replace entire development teams, and most people have no clue this even exists yet. So what exactly is Firebase Studio? It used to be called Project IDX. Now it's Firebase Studio, and it's basically a full development environment that lives in your browser. You don't need to install anything. You don't need a fancy computer. You just open a browser tab and start building front end, back end, mobile apps, whatever you want. But here's where it gets crazy. They just added AI that doesn't just help you code. It actually understands your entire project. It knows what frameworks you're using. It knows your coding style and it can make changes across multiple files at once. And the best part, it's completely free while it's in preview. Google is basically giving away enterprise-level development tools for nothing. Think about that for a second. Enterprise-level tools, free. If you want to take this further and learn how to scale your business with AI automation, join my AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to learn how to use AI to get more customers and save hundreds of hours. The link is in the description. Let me show you what they just added because these updates are absolutely insane. First, they added AI optimized templates. These aren't just basic starter projects. These are complete applications that are pre-configured to work with Google's Gemini AI. When you start a new project, you can pick from React, Angular, Flutter, Next.js templates. But here's the crazy part. These templates come with something called agent mode turned on by default. What's agent mode? It means the AI doesn't just answer your questions. It actually takes action. You can tell it add user authentication to this app and it will modify your code, add the right libraries, set up the database, everything. But wait, it gets better. Each template comes with something called an Arials.md file. This is basically a set of instructions that tells the AI exactly how to code for your project. It knows your preferred coding style. It knows what libraries to use. It knows how to handle errors. So when the AI makes changes, they're not random changes. They're changes that fit perfectly with your existing code. And here's the wild part. You know how adding backend functionality usually takes days or weeks? Database setup, API endpoints, authentication system. With the new Firebase Studio, you can add all that with natural language prompts. You literally type add user login and a database to store user posts, and the AI will add Firebase auth, set up Firestore database, create the login components, connect everything together. I'm not talking about giving you code to copy. I'm talking about it actually building the entire backend infrastructure for you. They also added enhanced prompts. You know how sometimes you have an app idea, but you don't know how to explain it to the AI? This feature helps you refine your ideas into detailed project specifications, and you can now upload projects up to 100 megabytes. You can take an existing code base, upload it to Firebase Studio, and the AI will understand the entire project structure. Let me show you exactly how this works with a real example. I'm going to build a simple task management app using one of these new AI optimized templates. Watch how fast this is. First, I go to Firebase Studio and select the React template. It automatically sets up the project with all the AI features enabled. Now I'm going to use a simple prompt. Turn this into a task management app where users can create, edit, and delete tasks. Add user authentication so each user sees only their tasks. Watch what happens. The AI is now modifying multiple files. It's adding authentication components. It's setting up the database schema. It's creating task components. It's adding routing. Look at this. In less than two minutes, we have a fully functional task management app with user login, with a database, with a clean interface. This would normally take a developer several days to build from scratch. Now you might be wondering, is this actually good or is it just hype? Here's my honest take. If you're a complete beginner who's never coded before, this is incredible. You can build real applications without learning syntax or complex configurations. If you're a solo developer or small team, this is a game changer. You can prototype ideas in minutes instead of weeks. If you're building internal tools for your business, this is perfect. Customer dashboards, inventory systems, reporting tools. You can build them yourself instead of hiring expensive developers. But here's who shouldn't use this yet. If you're building mission-critical applications that handle millions of users, you probably want more control over your infrastructure. Let me be completely honest about the downsides, because there are some. 
First, it's in preview. That means features can change. Your projects might break if Google updates something. Second, the AI-generated code isn't perfect. It's really good, but you still need to review what it creates. Third, while the development environment is free, Firebase services aren't. If your app gets popular, you'll pay for database reads, file storage, hosting. The free tiers are generous, but they have limits, and you're locked into Google's ecosystem. If you want to move to AWS later, that's going to be complicated. Let's talk about what free actually means here. The Firebase Studio environment itself is free while it's in preview. You can create projects, use the AI features, deploy simple apps, all without paying anything. But Firebase backend services have their own pricing. For authentication, you get unlimited users. For the database, you get 50,000 reads and 20,000 writes per day free. For hosting, you get 10 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. For most small projects, you'll never hit those limits. But if you build something that gets traction, you'll need to pay. My advice? Build your minimum viable product on the free tier. Test your idea, get users, and then worry about scaling costs later. Let me share some techniques that most people miss. First, customize the Arials.md file for your specific needs. If you prefer certain libraries, add them to the rules. The better your Arials.md file, the better code the AI will generate. Second, start with enhanced prompts for complex projects. Let the AI help you think through your architecture first. Third, use agent mode for big changes and ask mode for specific questions. Agent mode is powerful, but it can make unexpected changes. And finally, test your app early and often. The AI can build features fast, but bugs can compound quickly if you don't catch them. Here's what most people don't realize. This isn't just a cool development tool. This is the beginning of a massive shift in how software gets built. Right now, building an app requires technical expertise, time, and often a team. With tools like this, any entrepreneur with a good idea can build and test their concept. We're going to see an explosion of new applications. And here's the scary part for traditional developers. A lot of basic development work is about to become automated. But if you're a developer who solves complex problems, who understands business needs, you're going to become more valuable than ever. So should you use Firebase Studio? If you're an entrepreneur with app ideas, absolutely. Even if you've never coded before, you can build functional prototypes. If you're a small business owner who needs internal tools, this could save you thousands in development costs. If you're learning to code, this is incredible for understanding how full applications work. But don't expect it to replace deep technical knowledge. The AI is a powerful assistant, not a replacement for thinking. Look, I've been in this industry long enough to know when something is genuinely game-changing. And this Firebase Studio update is the real deal. But here's what I want you to do right now. Don't just watch this video and forget about it. Actually, go try Firebase Studio. Pick one simple app idea, maybe a personal blog, maybe a simple to-do app, maybe a small business website, and build it using these new AI features. And when you build something cool, make sure you comment below and show me what you created. Want to make more money with AI? Welcome to the free AI Money Lab with Julian Goldie. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus ChatGPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, get 1000 plus free N8N workflows, 200 plus ChatGPT prompts, how one member made 10,000 plus with ChatGPT, and a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. What you'll also get is a free AI community, free AI course, and proven AI case studies. Link in the comments and description. But most importantly, go build something. The best way to understand these tools is to use them. What app are you going to build first? Let me know in the comments below.